Next up, we have the Tor Network saying that based on publicly available information or just what they're able to get uh, from the cases that are working through the criminal justice system, uh, it is still safe, uh, even though police are reporting using timing attacks to de-anonymize users. Now, these are cases from a while ago. I think it was like 2016, something around then. So since then, Tor has been updated with nodes that are supposed to protect against these sort of timing attacks. But the idea here is if you are tracking Tor users or you're trying to track Tor users and you have control over a certain amount of nodes, you can analyze that traffic and basically detect when someone is using Tor and creates an, a relay or node uh, and you know they log on, they log off, they do certain actions. You can correlate those from the point that the traffic goes in uh, to the point that the traffic goes out. And even though it might switch between a different relays and you can't prove it's the same traffic, the timing over uh, a, you know, a set period of time shows that there is a pattern that that person is repeatedly like connecting to the same services or logging into the same accounts. And that's how they were able to prove that some of these people uh, were affiliated with accounts they were accessing with Tor. Now, um, I mean, there's always going to be the possibility of, of this attack. Like if too much of the network is controlled by an adversary or if they're able to mm -hmm. receive traffic and then correlate against when someone is using a service like Tor, then it becomes very difficult to uh, hide. You know, like timing attacks are definitely something that's difficult to uh, protect against. Uh, there are services on Tor now that try to do this. Um, however, it is still not perfect. So being aware of the modern surveillance techniques that can defeat anonymization services like Tor are really important. But at this moment, uh, Tor is saying that they are frustrated that they are not getting better access to the methods police used to de-anonymize uh, people using their service. Understandably, the police uh, are not eager to share those methods. Right. And because it is targeting older versions of Tor and presumably those, pa those things have now been patched or fixed, um, the, the current investigative methods that are being disclosed in court are still protected against by Tor. Some people might suspect, however, that there are undisclosed techniques, uh, yeah. and Tor is certainly uh, kind of implying that by saying they're frustrated by not getting access to some of the court documents underlying how these investigations were run.